Hey, pasa mi gente, welcome to another Eater Reacts. We got another video today of none other than Nemo Fila. But before we get into that, please, if you guys like these videos, if you guys like me, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the video because we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers and I know we can do it together and it's all because of y'all. Let's get into the video. So, a Nemo Fila is a Japanese heavy metal band that I recently reacted to a couple weeks ago. I fell in love with them because I was just like, dude, like especially from their song Odyssey, which reminded me of like a lot of 70s rock be like in a warehouse there's like golden hour like the lights are really nice like you know it's like part of a movie like it could be part of an animated movie this sort of thing they're doing a cover by Limp Bizkit called Stuck and they're featuring two artists which I don't know of this new Oki and Nobuya we're gonna see how they do with Limp Bizkit song Stuck let's get into it Blowing up the phone line You need to turn the school It's been loose for a long time I've been slammed with the bell lock Soon I'm gonna bring you two in the back Cast, it's your ass, I'm a press, bitch. 
Yeah, dude. You know what's so funny? It's like I listen to this and it just brings me back to my middle school days. Did anybody else have like a, a middle school phase where they listened to only like Three Days Grace, Limp Biscuit, like all these different bands? No? Just me? I'm pretty sure everybody has. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I feel like I, I couldn't understand some of the words that some of these people were saying. I was just like, what, what is going on? Like, like I know this song originally from Limp Bizkit. I think I have the album here somewhere. But anyway, I would have to find it. But I, I'm just curious. It's like, I, I couldn't understand a word they were saying towards the beginning of the song. Then I was like, oh, okay, this is like the song, like the original song lyrics. I was like, did they change the lyrics? Did they not keep it the same? Are they doing like a remaster of it or like a remix of it? I'm not entirely sure. But what I appreciated was that they kept the same vibe. It's like a lot of times people do covers and make it super, super, super different. But I mean, it's already different as it is. It already has two different featured artists, right? On top of being an all girl, Japanese heavy metal group, which is which is pretty pretty killing in my personal opinion. And I know my girlfriend would love this too. We just we just really like this type of music, and especially you know not just being in like the R and B vibe 24/7 or like the pop vibe 24/7 or like within the Black American music vibe all 24/7. But we like a little grunge. We like a little heavy. We like a little metal. We enjoy it. I thought this rendition was awesome. The only thing is, is the, the first half, I couldn't understand what they were saying. Uh, I'll give this an eight. It's not my favorite cover of Limp Bizkit's Stuck or songs by Limp Bizkit, but I will say that I really enjoyed it. I would listen to it again, and I would go see them live to do a rendition of this. Nemophila would just in two songs have like covered multiple genres in general. I mean, yeah, they're a heavy metal band, but like, Hello, like going from this like 70s rock, like we're in a movie type thing, going all the way to like something like Limp Biscuit, which is pretty crazy, which is why they're probably getting so much attention right now uh, since they just only came together in 2019. So I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. But if you like the video, make sure to subscribe because I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers this year. And I know we can do it, but I can't do it without y'all. So just press the subscribe button if you're watching this on your phone or if you're watching this on your laptop. Thank you to everybody who's come to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.